The relationship between the dot product and vector geometry is super important, super interesting, and goes far beyond simple relationships of lengths and distances. For example, let's say that you have a pair of vectors, u and v, in Rn. Then they span some two-dimensional plane, as long as they're non-zero, and that means the angle between them, let's call that theta, is well-defined and is related to u dot v by the formula. u dot v is the length of u times the length of v times the cosine of that angle theta. This is so important to us, you are definitely going to want to memorize that formula. Let's look at a simple example of how this operates. Let's say that your vector u is given with components 1, 0, negative 1, and 4, and v, likewise, is given as negative 1, 2, 3, and 2. These are vectors in R4. It would seem to be difficult to talk about angles in such a high dimensional space, but we can do it. And it's so easy. Just take the dot product, u dot v, and use this formula. Well, this is simple. This is 1 times negative 1, plus 0 times 2, plus negative 1 times 3, plus 4 times 2. You add those terms together, and you get a value of 4. Now, from this formula, all we need to do now is compute the length of u, which is the square root of u dot u, which is square root of 18, as you can check. And we need to compute the length of v, which conveniently is also equal to the square root of 18. This means that the cosine of theta can be obtained by the dot product of u with v divided by these two lengths. That is 4 divided by 18, which simplifies to 2 ninths. Solving for theta, we get that theta is the arc cosine of 2 ninths, which works out to be you know, a little over 77 degrees. And that's it. You can't visualize these vectors, but you can compute the angle between them. But that's not all. Dot products also detect orthogonality in n-dimensional space. So if you have a pair of non-zero vectors, then u and v are perpendicular that means they have a, like a 90 degree angle between them. Oh, well, that's the same thing as saying that the cosine of that angle is zero. And from that formula, this means that u dot v is zero if and only if these two vectors are orthogonal. We have this relationship between orthogonality and the angle between them and the dot product. This is incredibly important. So, for example, if you're in the plane and you have the vector uh, cosine of theta, sine of theta, and minus sine theta, cosine theta, then whatever value of theta you choose, these are always orthogonal. They're like rotations of the ij vectors by some angle theta. Likewise, if you're in n-dimensional space and you look at the standard basis vectors, e1 up through en, these are mutually orthogonal. Each is orthogonal to all the others, as you can check by computing that the dot products are zero.